Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some Naya Slivers and we got a majorly flooded hand, holy crap, if we had just one refill I would keep it, but we're gonna mulligan. Uh, this is much better, keep this, we're gonna dump the gem, uh, not the gem, sorry, blade back, I might, I could have actually just kept the blade back, potentially, since we do, um, oh I thought we had two gem hides, that's a muscle on the gem hide, yeah I'm fine with this, this is cool with me. Urza's mine, so some Tron, some Tron today, alright, well, I might regret putting that blade back to the bottom now, we'll see, uh, but no, like, turn one play or anything, that's not bad, you know, we shall see, I've been trying to play test my mono green Tron that I built for paper and popper, uh, I meant to play Blossoming Sands that turn, I just auto went into play it, I needed to play Blossoming Sands first. Um, so that's my bad. So now we just gotta hope for a forest so we can still get on our grind. But yeah, I've been testing out my Mono Green Tron. It's pretty fun, uh, but I was testing it out against another deck that I built for my wife, which was, uh, Popper Elves. I uh, don't stand a chance against that, that deck. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Uh, alright, so we can cycle at least... We can grab our forest, so we can at least keep the plays going. And we can at least uh, attack in here for some poisonous. Do they just have natural Tron? Man, I hope they don't have nat natural Tron. Yeah, so I, uh, I think I beat her like once with my mono green Tron in like best of three match. <laughs> we did it a couple times, but... Man, Elvis is just so nutty. So nutty. They've got a weird start here. What are you doing? No plays? No chromatic star? No chromatic sphere? No expedition map? Like, what? Uh, how? <clears throat> Better play something. Otherwise, like, I'm gonna start running away with this game. And next turn, I'll probably just go Lord to get extra pressure on them. <clears throat> they do. They just have natural Tron. Wow. Good for them. Uh, not much you can do about that. Seven mana. How are you going to play it? No colors, though. No colors. So we'll see if it's like Eldrazi or something that they put down. Um, maybe we'll see some of the... Ah, what's their names? I forget. Let's just see what they do. They are really... Carefully thinking about their decision. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yes. Alright, there's their prophetic prism. Alright. Draw a card. Sure thing. Sure thing. Still don't really know what color they're on. Uh, I think if this was Fogtron, they would s they'd be doing other stuff by now. But maybe they just drew into that prophetic prism? I don't know. I mean, you gotta keep the natural Tron hands, even if you don't have color mana, right? I would keep that, too. I would keep that, too. Paying what? What are we up against here? One, two, three. Just tapping this for one mana five. Okay. I don't know what you're doing, man. Can you not make the play? Did you mess it up? They seem like they might be a little new. I don't know. Tron usually knows exactly what to play here. <laughs> They're, like, still figuring out the Tron lands or something, maybe. Uh, alright, so blue. Okay. Uh, not the horror, though. So just a Mull Drifter. Just coming down. I'm fine with that. Draw a couple cards. Alright, well, we can still get a clock going against the Mull Drifter. No big deal. Uh, it is unfortunate that they got the natural Tron, though. Uh, Hunter Sliver isn't exactly going to help us too much in this matchup right now. There's other stuff we need. We're not super worried about the creatures that they have, because if they put down a horror or something start bouncing our stuff, I mean, it's just, it's just over. We're not going to be able to make them block with a, with a horror if they're doing it right so but we'll get in for four and we'll see what their next play is they've got seven cards in hand so 
looking pretty good. Uh, depending on what they do next turn, we can throw down a gem hide, lead the stampede, and see what other kind of pulls we can get if they uh, try to stop us from combat. Let's find out. <clears throat> All right, Island. Cool, cool. What else are you doing? Tron matchups can be long, and if this person doesn't start playing faster, it's going to be even longer. <laughs> They're already four minutes down. Red. All right. Goodbye, muscle. Are you scared of our board? What are you popping for red? Yep. All right. That's fine. No worries. No worries. I don't want to run into a counter spell here. Maybe that's what they're doing. They're slowing up counter spell. No attack with the Mall Drifter. It's interesting. All right, we get another forest. That helps us a little. Let this through. Feel like they're rolling up counter spells. Uh, uh, still, we're still gonna try the lead. I mean, there's nothing else we can really do right now, except maybe just play a hunter. But uh, we need to get moving on the Tron uh, against the Tron. So we'll see. Condescend, maybe? Let's see. Uh, yep, condescend for two, and we can only play one, so yep, we can't do that, and we'll just uh, pass to them. Maybe I should have just uh, gone for the hunter there or something. Played around it a little bit more, but. Mm -mm -mm. Just show me something that I can concede to and we'll move on to game two if this is how it's gonna go. <laughs> That's what I kind of feel like. Just do what you need to do in the game and let's, uh, let's go get our sideboard cards. <laughs> They just got cards for days. It's crazy. Draw your cards, Bushel. I don't know if you're playing with a bad connection or you're just slow, but draw those cards. I don't mind Tron matchups, I just mind when they're super long. Alright, there you go. Get your cards. Alright. Oh my gosh, 
I can't figure out how to play Tron, man. <sighs> Alright, another red. I'm gonna kill my gem hide. Sure. It's fine. Lots of red spells in this one. It's like an is it Tron. Lots of is it this week, too. Means they probably have Rolling Thunder. Are you gonna attack now? No. Weird. I mean, you gotta get the clock on at some point. You're just giving me extra turns. Uh, we can't play either of these now. Pass it back to them again. I'm pretty over this game. I want to move on to game two here. Just show me the game winning card and then we will go. Seagate, sure. <clears throat> if we don't draw a refill next turn, we'll, we're just going to concede. <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> I hate doing that, but... Just like, dude, you got so many cards in your hand. You're not attacking with Maul Drifter for some reason. Not near dying yet, but it's looking pretty bleak for us. They just got the control aspect on us right now. Now the attacks start. Alright, good. You have so many cards. <laughs> Play them. Oh my gosh. Alright, Gem Hide. We'll see if it resolves. Our last hope here. Alright, that resolves. Um, so we can... Try to get out of Hunter. If he counters this, that's fine. Because I'd rather have the blade back out. Okay, nothing there. Try to run out our board, run out our hand. Counter spell for this? No? Okay. Alright, well we can have a clock on him with blade back now unless it unless it dies. Which it might. Seems like they have a lot of removal. Blue, okay. Mystical teachings, sure. Uh, so they're probably gonna go get some removal for the blade back. Potentially. Yep, lightning bolt. That sucks. Goodbye, blade back. Oh, they had a flame slash already. All right, so now they can lightning bolt my gem hide, potentially. Oh, well, they need another source of red. Pulse of research. I don't know what they're searching for. It's crazy. 
It's an interesting build that I wouldn't mind playing against if they weren't taking so long. I feel like I'm just whining at this point. It is, it's just straight, is it Tron? It's crazy. Okay, you passing again? They are. Man, that's great. That's really good. Okay, um, yeah. Let's let's leave the stampede and try to redeem ourselves here. Oh yeah, two sinews and a sidewinder. Not bad, not bad at all. We'll tap out for this. See, they're still not doing the attacks. It's funny. I got to be worried now. We're throwing it all down now. Used your flame slash on the wrong creature. You should really use the lightning strike. Now we're out of range of a lightning strike. Or lightning bolt. Yeah. Cool. Alright. There's a chance. There's a chance. Gotta fight that. That urge to concede. When it feels uh, annoying. If the game's annoying. Okay. Wow. So they're just gonna concede now. All right, what was our next card draw? Muscle into Predator. <laughs> All right, cool. That's fine. And they concede the match, too. All right, well, <laughs> I'll post it. I'll, I'll post it. I mean, it was cool to see a new version of Tron. I wish they just played faster and wanted to stick around. But we came back. We got our lead the Stampede. Uh, that's what we needed, for sure. They were keeping us under, under control for a while. But they were misplaying a lot. And, uh, yeah, lesson... Lesson for the day, if you feel the urge to concede from an annoying game, if you stick in there, if you just stick with it, you might turn the corner. You just might. Uh, don't concede unless you know you have the loss completely, completely there. I had to fight it a lot on that one, let me be honest. But <laughs> Leave a like on the video, leave a comment below, let me know what you thought about the Is It Tron deck. I kind of liked it, I just don't know what their, their big win con is besides maybe a Rolling Thunder, but... Uh, yeah, cool. Another one on the board. We will see you guys in the next video.